No, Avi Mikkel has returned this week, Ivanovic as well. So, I mean, everybody is looking nice and sharp and fit. So, at the moment, it's all positive. You just clarified the latest situation with Alex for well, uh, from what I've known from from the club, uh, I think there, uh, Alex has been authorized to to have talks with uh, with QPR, and at the moment it's uh, it's uh, it's in between them. Uh, but uh, there has there hasn't been uh, any agreement between the clubs. It's been a big agreement. No, <laughs> but he has he has been allowed to to speak to QPR. Has the, do you know if the offer from QPR has been below Chelsea's valuation, along with below Chelsea's valuation, Alex? No, well, I think we, we, um, I think we are speaking about the Brazilian international of, of great value. Uh, again, transfer request accepted, but uh, always difficult to let a player of this dimension go for a price that we don't uh, uh, see fair. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, the offer is uh, it was is or was below par, but uh, we think uh, if uh, if there's full interest, I'm sure that. Uh, um, QPR or any other club will, will make an effort for a, for a player of this dimension. Presumably you're hopeful it's completely soon, this deal doesn't just keep on going on? Well, uh, I think it, it's important uh, for the well-being of the player, most of all, uh, to solve the, the situation. Again, it's a player who, who generates a lot of interest, but uh, uh, I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it's an expensive uh, player, and uh, and uh, and we have uh, we have this knowledge, and hopefully he can uh, he can reach the agreement with uh, with a club that uh, and, and can continue to to progress in his career. Can you tell us whether there's been a renewed offer from Shanghai Shenhua for the Broker? I have no idea. I have no idea. Really. I have no idea. There was a story in the paper this week, Carlo Ancelotti saying that. For the good of Fernando Torres, did he from the half leave the club? That through no fault of his own, perhaps he, he needs to be the top dog in any team, and that has an effect on the other strikers of the club. Would you agree with that? Is that a personality? Type of team? I don't know. I think it's uh, it's uh, it's first. I'm not, I'm not sure about the, the the immaculate content of uh, of Ancelotti's uh, words. If if they play exactly like that, or if they were. Uh, Cut and paste to uh, to for uh, certain purposes. <laughs> I'm not, not not making a critique. I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, because normally you, we we shortlist. Um, so, uh, but uh, I mean, I respect his opinion. For me, is is not the case. I mean, uh, I think it's, ex it's two extremely valuable strikers. Uh, uh, Didi, of course, long serving for the club with uh, with tremendous uh, success and uh, and prestige. Uh, Fernando, an arrival in January last year, so uh, a player that has been with us for one year and now, on a great moment of, uh, of form and, uh, and and looking sharp. So I think it's it's nothing to do with uh, with the fact that one is present and, and and the other one also at the same time. But you don't think it's been difficult for Fernando to establish himself by perhaps being in Didier's shadow? No, well, not at all. I think I think on a club of our dimension, we have uh, we have top top competition, and it's uh, it's always you compete against the best. I mean, uh, again, for a, a very good uh, solid back four, we uh, we added one more player, international player, English player. Uh, so this is the nature of a, of a top club. You have to compete against uh, against the best. Uh, the people who compete against you is normally uh, as good as you or, or or better than you, and you have to. To transcend yourself, to to beat them to 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 the place or to the starting level, so it's 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 normal. I think in a in a club of this dimension is the same in a, in Barcelona or, or Real Madrid. They they compete against the, against the best within the the own group. You mentioned Gary Cahill. Has he trained well this week? Yeah, it was uh, it was positive, good integration. Uh, again, we saw all of his uh, natural technical abilities, which uh, I think uh, it's important for us. Plus his defensive uh, capacities as well. Uh, but uh, I think he adapted uh, quite well. Uh, again, um, it's a, it's a welcoming uh, wel welcoming sign for the club, and it's it's good to have him on board. Will he start against Norwich? Well, uh, I think there is uh, in the in the process of a player's arrival there is uh, adaptation issues and uh, that, that you have to take into account and to, uh, regarding the dynamics of the group. Not that uh, Gary. Doesn't have this uh, capacity, but uh, we have to consider and to make the the best option for the team.